Final Fantasy 16 is not a JRPG. What's good, people? Welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Mr. Midas. Now, you could have been anywhere in the world right now, but you are with me, and I appreciate that. Now, there has been an uproar about Final Fantasy 16 devs stating that they don't see this game as a JRPG. After an interview with Yoshi P, FF16's producer, they are comparing Final Fantasy 16 to modern action adventures like God of War. Now, this makes perfect sense for a few reasons. JRPGs are easily one of my favourite genres, but they are pretty niche when it comes to global sales. Final Fantasy VII is one of Square Enix's major successes, with the game selling more than 14.1 million copies globally since its release in 1997. Now this is amazing. Final Fantasy VII Remake is one of my favourite games and in the past few years it sold 3.5 million copies and these numbers are really good. But if we compare that to a God of War and a Witcher, there is a huge difference. God of War has sold 11 million copies in three months and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt has hit 40 million sales. Mind blowing. Modern games such as Assassin's Creed, God of War have now implemented RPG mechanics such as skill trees, character buffs and deep story integration. So what is a JRPG? Well, in my opinion, it's basically a role-playing game made in Japan, all right? A Japanese role-playing game, but it has a very Japanese feel or aesthetic. Persona 5 Royal is a great example. The art is basically anime, the combat is turn-based, and you've got that anime s dating sims. But a lot of Japanese developers take offense to the term JRPG. And I had no clue that at one time the game industry was almost using it as a racist slur. Or the Chinese. But certainly not Japan, because while they may be technologically advanced and financially powerful, they're already in decline. You want proof? Story. Let me guess. There's probably a young hero with some sort of memory problem who's fighting a vastly overwhelming emo fascio magical empire. Cliche burden boy of action who will save us all is named Sagi. Rhymes with Saki. Saki! Which I could use a lot of right now. Shake my head, G4, obviously. I think this is because some Japanese games culturally don't translate well to a Western audience. Yakuza Like a Dragon is a huge example for me. Western RPGs don't have the Sigma that JRPGs have. Example, people always take the mickey out of dating and relationships in JRPGs. But you can have full on sex in The Witcher 3 and date one of Geralt's love interests. So Final Fantasy 16 has recently done a bunch of previews, but unlike before, this is mainly focusing on the combat, which looks amazing. They have gone full on with real time combat and saying that the game is closer to a Devil May Cry 5 action adventure than a Final Fantasy 7 remake hybrid. Now this isn't a bad thing, and it's a great way to encourage and bring in bigger audiences to the genre. They've also stated that the game will be more focused on a darker tone and story, closer linking it to a Game of Thrones than the Blitzball games that we loved in Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy XVI was even created with full English voice acting and Japanese at the same time which is unheard of. Now this isn't an issue for me. I get all of the real Japanese RPG stuff that I need from the Final Fantasy VII remakes or the Persona series. So if FF16 wants to move more into that action adventure rather than the traditional RPG, I'm with it. And basically really what is an RPG nowadays? And even though I love JRPGs, maybe we should just be classifying them as RPGs. Especially with games like Dark Souls and Elden Ring making western style Soulborns RPGs which are selling incredibly and are made in Japan. But what do you think? Do you think there's an issue with the title JRPG? And how do you feel about F-16 
being more about action adventure than rpgs are you upset that ff16 is closer to dmc than the surfboarding we got in ff7 and do you find it weird that square enix is more concentrating on the combat getting people excited about that and not really letting us know about the story and the character connections let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i love talking gaming so let's continue the conversation i've been mr midas you've been the nvp once again appreciate all of the love for the channel if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe show us some love share it to a friend i'm trying to really expand the content i do on the channel you know me I love myself a Final Fantasy and I'm super excited to actually cover Final Fantasy 16 for you. I've been Mr. Midas, you incredible. We out of here. Peace.